How you feeling? Ah, great, man. Freaking great. Um, just three months trying to fight and couldn't get a fight. Got this big opportunity out here in uh, Maine. Just super grateful, man. Mm -hmm. just super freaking grateful. Uh, can you walk me through the fight a little bit? Of course. Uh, walked in round one. Um, honestly, dude, I knew I knew it wasn't gonna be that. Uh, like it, it was a good fight, but I I felt healthy. I was working with some guy named Jason, aka Waterfather on Instagram. Big shout out to him. Easy fucking wake up, bro. So just that really set me in that mindset. Like, hey, walking into that fight, I was gonna be strong, be elite, and you know, fast. But walked into that first round. He didn't want to touch gloves. I don't like that shit. You know what I mean? Like, it's just you gotta be, have a little bit of respect. You know. Um, we got into it through that kick, uh, through a couple strikes, shit happened pretty fast. Well, not that fast, but it went down pretty cool. Um, took us to the ground, a lot of scrambles, pretty cool scrambles and shit, but I knew I was gonna have to take it into the second round. First round, I always analyzed my uh, partner to get them with their dose. And then uh, second round came in. I noticed he was a little like off. Like I saw him straight across from me, he's panting and shit. I was like, all right, cool, let's play some jujitsu. So gave up his back, hopped on that rear naked choke. I'm not gonna lie, some lactic acid was building up, but fuck that dude, his fucking straps on the line, you gotta go all for it. So that's pretty much it. <laughs> Did he do anything that surprised you, caught you off guard? Um, playing jujitsu. Yeah, because yeah, word on the street was the cat was a striker, you know, it was in a grappler, you know, but shit was there and the opportunity took it. Mm -hmm. you know? Do you have any nerves starting out? Um, a little bit, but it's like, this is my life, dude. You know what I mean? Like, it's like you don't wake up and go to work nervous. You know, you just gotta go do your job and earn some, some money for your uh, family. Mm -hmm. So yeah. What was the crowd like? Crowd was dope, man. Like, you know, of course they were against me, but I, I let them know, I was like, hey, you guys are gonna be cheering for me after. So just, you know, like looking at them and just, you know, all love, baby. I have, mm -hmm. So I take this thing and I hear all that background noise. It's white noise to me. You know what I'm saying? Just taking that and just putting in some good energy and that's for me, you know? And next time I come back and defend this shit, it's, they're gonna be cheering for me and I would love that, you know? You feed off that or you kind of block oh, it out? Oh, yeah, okay. dude. Uh, I've been an underdog my whole life, you know, like wrestling, Baseball, lacrosse, everybody cheers against me, dude, and it's okay. You know, I love everybody, I love humans, and it's just, it is what it is, you know? Yeah. Right on. Um, is there anything from camp that you feel like you incorporated today? I'm gonna grab the mic. <laughs> I'm uh, thinking like, to do it right, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, so, I incorporated a lot, like, just a little bit of that inside kick, you know, whipping that shit. Um, but uh, also my coach, uh, uh, Paco, you know, from uh, Unity Jiu-Jitsu, he t a lot of freaking guillotines, a lot of rear naked choke back takes, locking in that fucking figure four body lock. Big shout out to him, Argentina, baby. My, my coach Paco. Yes, sir. Right on. You have any other NEF fights coming up or anything? Else um, I think we're looking at October 20th. Yeah, so um, uh, CES. So definitely look out for that, guys. And again, I'm, I'm super grateful for the NEF uh, opportunity. I definitely like this promotion. And dude, the fucking shirts they gave us, Sasson, baby. <laughs> you have any shout outs or anything? Like uh, that? Yeah, big shout out to my coach, Xavier. Um, you know, like he's a freaking guy, man. Like puts in work with us hours, dude. You know, like not gonna lie, we don't pay him a fucking dime. And you know, just out of love and he cares for us and wants us to get protected. Big shout out to my coach, Hansel. You know, I uh, met these guys during the pandemic and he told me he was gonna have something for me. And you know, he had a home for me to, to train at and you know, sometimes even sleep there, you know, but um. But like above all, just always shout out to my dad, dude. You know, like that guy is fucked, dude. Did so much for me, bro. Like, like I said, I mentioned in my prior interview, um, you know, he is hard on me and shit, but you know, just cause he wants me to succeed, you know, like, uh, can I bring him in here real quick? Yeah, of course. So we're up to see him. Come, dad. Yeah. Come, 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 yeah. You know, um, just want to say like, you know, this guy right here, man, <laughs> he does a lot for me, man. You know, every time I go fight out there, you know, like I just think about it like he's on the line, you know, and um, he just financially, emotionally, you know, sometimes he drives me crazy, but fuck, man, that's what a dad's there for, right? So just super grateful for my father. Big shout out to my girlfriend, Kiana, California, watching right now with her family. So, you know, thank you to everybody, guys, and everybody at Warriors Nation. Yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Right on, man. Thank <laughs> yeah. you. Congrats. Thank you.